and welcome back to my channel. Now today I've got a very, very exciting unboxing for you and it's kind of a bit strange because I already know very well what's in this box. Um, so this is the very first Glittery Hands box. Um, if you've been following me you'll know I started this new business, the Glittery Hands box, and I funded it on Kickstarter earlier this year and April's box is the very first box. So. Um, seems a bit crazy to have it right here in my hands, but here it is, and they've all already been sent out, so you'll be able to find um, other bloggers reviewing them, and lots of posts on Instagram and stuff with the box, but I wanted to show you, um, my baby, <laughs> and show you everything that's inside. So, first up, um, obviously this one's just mine, so it hasn't got any address on it, uh, it's got the stickers on, which I'm pretty happy with. So they'll always be exactly the same on the box. And then when we open it up, ooh, um, a load of tissue paper. And I really wanted confetti to be um, in the box when you opened it because I love confetti. I love it when parcels have confetti. So I felt like confetti was a very important um, thing. <laughs> Um, so I managed to find this huge confetti in lots of different colours um, and I've chosen to put blue and pink in this mermaid themed box. Um, so each box will be themed and this month um, it's April and the theme is Mermaid Lagoon. So these are, this is a mermaid themed box. So confetti, I'm going to just pop that out of the way. Um, and then we've got a tiny little sticker and then we open that one up. Have a look. And then here is the card that shows you, um, has a little message from me and tells you everything that's in here. And on the back is um, one of my own illustrations and it says, keep your thigh gap, I've got mermaid thighs. Solidarity to mermaid thighs. Um, so you could always frame that or use that separately afterwards so it's not kind of just a wasted note from me. So I'll read it to you. It says, Welcome to the Mermaid Lagoon! Welcome to the first Glittery Hands Box. Thank you so much for joining me on this glittery journey. I'm so excited for you to get this through your door. So dive into this month's Mermaid Lagoon themed box and you will find a treasure trove of craft supplies fit for mermaids. I have included two illustrated mermaid pattern pages, a colouring in sheet, stickers and card shapes all designed by me, as well as hand mixed mermaid themed glitter and sequins to get glittering. Um, and then it also goes through everything else you get, but I'll show you that as we go. Then it also says, I can't wait to see what you create with the contents of this box. Get those hands covered in glitter. Always be yourself, unless you can be a mermaid, then be a mermaid, because they never have bad hair days. And then it's just got all the information here, um, and says, share your makes and unboxings with me with hashtag glittery hands box. Um, so that's kind of how these cards will look every month, but each month they'll be themed. Um, so that's that one. And then let's go through and see what you get. Okay, so opening it up, I'll show you what it looks like when you open it up. If I can lift it up. Here we go. So, packed full of craft supplies. Let's see. So first up, I think we start with my favourite thing. Um, these I really wanted to put in this, this box and they are iron-on glitter letters in silver. And I love these because some iron-on things, they just, you iron them on and they look crap. Whereas these, you iron them on and it looks like you've bought the top from Topshop. Um, they, they go really flat, you know, and smooth. So they're just hella cute. And I thought silver mermaids. And you can do cool mermaid slogans with them. So that's why I've chosen iron on. Love those. Next up, um, I wanted to include a stamp pad. So I've gone for the Do Crafts Artiste Pigment Ink Pad in lavender. So I thought that was quite a mermaidy colour. I didn't want to just throw loads of blues in there. I wanted it to be, you know, quite purpley, quite pinky, and blues. Um, so that's in lavender and then to go with that one a clear anchor stamp uh, now I know some people don't have a stamping block to stick these to and that's absolutely fine you can still use it just sometimes I just stick it to a book or a coaster as long as it's flat 
you can or you can just pick up a stamp block quite cheaply in places um, so those two I thought it would be a shame to uh, give a stamp without something to use it with so that's why I put those together they're cute um, next up oh he's got a seahorse stuck to him uh, these teardrop pins which I just thought were so cute and especially these colours are really mermaidy up here you get loads and they're really long and I feel like pins is just one of those things you always need like I can never, I probably own hundreds of pins but can I ever find them? No. And also I've seen some people do quite cute like scrapbooky things with pins lately like they're sticking them in, sticking washi tape and it looks uber cute so um Oh, I've got eyelash drums. That's why I thought I'd in include some pins this month. Because crafters always need pins. So that's those. Um, next up is an acrylic paint. Um, so I want this to be... It's a craft subscription box. There's loads for scrapbookers out there. Um, you know, there's loads for like stationery lovers. But there isn't a lot for just crafters. There's also crochet boxes for actual crafters. There isn't a lot, so I wanted to make a box for crafters. And so I wanted to include a paint, so I've gone for this acrylic paint, also in lavender and also from the Do Crafts Artiste um, brand. That just happened completely by accident. Um, but I've, I know that this is a good brand and a good <laughs> and a good quality of paint. Um, and it's a really beautiful colour. Um, like it's not as as pastel as it is, it's slightly brighter when it when you use it, which is really beautiful. Um, so that's that one. And it can be used on so many surfaces and stuff, I just thought, yeah, everyone loves the lilac, look, everyone loves the acrylic paint. Let's pop that in there. Next up, um, little bag with a sticker. This is just to contain some of the smaller pieces that I didn't want to get, you know, lost in the chaos. Um, mermaid clip. So this is a blank hair slide, um, and I thought it'd be just so cute. There's so many ways to decorate this, you know, with flowers, with sequins, with diamantes, um, and just so cute for like a special occasion, just to stick stuff on there, you know, wrap stuff, all sorts of, you know, wrap ribbon around it. That would be so cute. I just that's such a cute thing. And if anyone needs a hair accessory, it's mermaid. So definitely putting a hair accessory in this month. So that's that one. And then also in here, three tiny little things. A tiny little super cute um, anchor motif. He's iron-on as well, so you don't even have to worry about sewing it. Just whack it on, whack the iron on top. Stick it wherever you like. It would be so cute on a little pocket or on a little purse. Oh, so many ideas. I mean, you could stick it to the clip somehow. I'd love it. And then these two little pink glitter buttons which I just thought was super cute um, so that's those two little buttons and they're a pink glitter because mermaids love glitter then next up um, I've included cut out shapes which I've designed so and then cut out myself so we've got this one that's possibly my favourite thing in the whole box she is a sassy mermaid look at her sassy little hand Look, babes, I'm a mermaid. That's her. She's so cute. Um, I just love her. Um, two little shells. Um, a tiny little seahorse. Um, a seahorse heart. And this shell, which says 100% mermaid. Cut out. So you could use that as a stencil. You could also use the seahorse as a stencil or just use them in scrapbooking, on a card, um, yeah, so many ways to use those and I just think they're really cute little additions. So those are the card um, bits that are included and that will happen every month, there will be about five um, shapes in your box to do with the theme. Then I've included some stickers that I've made and designed, so um, this little one says call me on my shell phone. Um, there's also a mermaid tail, I'll let you into a secret, not great at mermaid faces, so that's why there's a lot of mermaid tails, there's some lobsters, there's some crabs, ain't no mermaid faces in here, 
So that would be why. <laughs> Sorry. 100% um, mermaid and some shells and a little lobster. And I just thought they're really cute, you know, just to stick. I love a sticker, so yeah, those are those. Then, possibly my favourite part of this box in getting it prepped was every box will come with a mix, hand mix by me, of glitter and sequins. So these are those special mixes for each month. So this is the glitter, and this is number one, Mermaid Tears, because first box. And it's Mermaid Tears, and it's a mix of um, mainly blues, um, it's got some iridescent silvers in there and a couple of like pinky shades and a few kind of strips, tiny little strips of like holographic silver. Um, yeah, so that's that. And I've, yeah, mixed it, packed it, the whole shebang of those. And I just adore glitter, so it's going to have glitter in it. So that's that one. And then the sequins. Um, now I'll let you into a story here. <laughs> I was once paid in like a couple of million sequins. I did a job and there was like these huge boxes of vintage sequins and I had them as payment, <laughs> which sounds mental. Um, so these are from my personal vintage sequin collection. Many of them that this hasn't even made a dent in my collection. Um, so this is um, pinks, aquas, um, a brighter pink, and then like an iridescent clear um, sequin. Uh, so here we go, and I've called these mermaid scales. Much deliberation went into that and WhatsApp groups, but <laughs> mermaid scales is the one we, yeah, decided on. So yeah, there they are, I love them! Um, this pack's a lot, um, I've already used some of these for a DIY, so that's, you do get a, a lot more in there. So that's that, and then three more things are the papers that you get. So these are ones I've designed. So you've got uh, this mermaid pattern which is mermaid tails and shells and you might have seen this already on like on Twitter, uh, this I've shared about a bit, so that's, you might have seen that already. Um, you get a colouring in sheet um, which is just a bit of fun really because everyone loves a bit of colouring in so it's got anchors, little crabs, the mermaid tails, lobsters, there's a little um, like safety ring there, there's a message in a bottle, lots of like little bits in there just for you to have a go at colouring in if you want to. I just thought it was quite cute and it's something you could do straight away when you open the box. Uh, so you can get crafty. And then the last one which is my favourite is this one and it's got shells and lobsters and crabs on it and it says you can't swim with us, call me on my shell phone, 100% mermaid and let me take a shelfie. And that's that one there, and it's kind of like a lilac-y colour. So that's everything in this month's April Mermaid Lagoon Glittery Hands Box. Please subscribe if you want to. Boxes are £15 a month um, to subscribe. One-off boxes are £18. Um, take a look, there's lots of other options, like a six-month and a three-month subscription option. Um, so head on over to glitteryhandsbox.co.uk and check that out. I'll leave all of the links below to Instagram and Twitter as well so you can take a look. But please join me on this crafty journey and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next month with uh, next month's Glittery Hands Box and hopefully some other DIYs coming soon as well. Thank you! Bye!